Uh, welcome back to the channel. I just thought I'd go through the new 3.8 socket set that I've purchased uh, as one of the options to work alongside the Vito MB bag and my Mega MIT 420 insulation tester. This particular one I've purchased is the 8100 SP6, uh, which as you can see here is the ratchet with the multi-position head on it. They do sell this kit with their slimline ratchets as well, a slight variation of it. Uh, and that's the 8100 SB7, which is the push-through ratchet, and the 8100 SB8, which is the lever-switch ratchet. Uh, so it's come obviously in its uh, fairly traditional Vera box here. Um, the one I got is from Prime Tools uh, in the UK. They're a Vera stockist. And this one I paid around about £110 for the kit, which I think is about the going rate for it. Um, comes with its uh, a little sticker and a little leaflet on it there. Um, and, the first, and now the first thing you notice is that it hasn't come with the Velcro strip that you're generally used to with these style of Vera cases. Um, you see there's no Velcro on the back here and the strip that you would normally get isn't in the box either, uh, which is a little bit of a disappointment um, because I had plans to utilise that. Um, so I'm going to have to think of something else or come up with some sort of solution to try and get this to work as I want it to. Um, I did check on some other videos and it looks like neither of the other kits with the slim metal ratchets come with Velcro either, that's their 3 8 kit. Um, I did see a video from I think it was Millis Construction who had the extension bar set in 3 8 as well and that didn't have Velcro with it either. Um, so I'm not sure it seems like the 3 8 kit for some reason that is cased differently to their quarter inch and their half inch. Um, I'll open her up. Uh, so you see the kit inside here. There's the Zyklop ratchet. It comes with short extension, long extension, a bit adapter, set of sockets and these are, if I hold them up, hopefully you can see the sizes there, they are 8 through to 19. Well, there are a couple of skips in it, uh, there's no 11mm and there's no 14mm, uh, which are kind of quite good imperial equivalents, so it's a shame that they're missing. Um, and then at the front here we've got some 50mm long hex bits as well, they come in one slotted bit which is a 5.5mm, a Phillips 1, 2 and 3, a Posi 1, 2 and 3, and then some hex heads, a 4mm, 5mm, 6mm and 8mm. And then these final bits here are Torx, they're standard Torx, they're not the security bits. Um, they are T20, 25, 27, 30 and a 40 as well. Um, and that's the basic kit. Uh, the ratchet itself, it's typical wearer quality, isn't it? It's got the spinner collar on there um, so you can flip this head around if you want to with this switch to put it in uh, a couple of different angled positions or to have it horizontal like that and then you can use it as a as a box spanner I guess or with the screwdriver bits and the bit adapter uh, to get the uh, switch here that would normally change the head you push it forward when it's in this position and then it releases a little ball bearing to lock the bit in place and then the bits themselves uh, also locking this is non-magnetic um, so they lock in place but they're well and truly in place they don't come out and then you can use it as a uh, ratcheting driver or as I say with the sockets directly um, back in there so that's the ratchet itself is fine tooth, um, not much more else you can say about it. I think it's uh, to say on the uh, it's five degree movement on the ratchet, and it's very, very fine. You'd be quite annoyed if that's the only movement you could get on it to undo it, you'd get there eventually, I guess. But uh, that would be annoying with just five degrees of movement. Um, so, the short extension is the wobble variety, and 
the sockets will click on and they will wobble about. Um, if you push the sockets a little bit further, they will actually lock and it becomes a standard short extension. That's that one, and then longer extension. There's a couple of spinner collars on there, and they are independent. But then you can use that to, and spin as well. And this is non wobble, they just go straight on uh, and lock on. And then the sockets you see, uh, they are the color coded sockets, and they are laser etched with the actual size on them as well. Um, and they are retained in place as well. And this is another little difference that you see with this case and uh, the half inch and quarter inch drive cases. These just uh, clip on, they're not the twist to lock. Um, so they just pull off. And that doesn't, that's a little bit weaker in transportation. When this arrived to me, I didn't do an unboxing video unfortunately, um, but when I did unbox this, two or three of these sockets had come adrift and come off these little holders. Whereas when I've ordered uh, quarter inch drive sets and uh, half inch drive. I've never had the sockets come bouncing out during transportation. Um, so that's a little bit different as well. I'll show you with this quarter inch drive set. Um, this is the usual bit that you get. They, they, they're locked in place and then you twist and then it comes away. Uh, and it shows you the little pictorial there of how to take them off. Uh, but not in the case of this 3.8. Uh, it's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, with regard to this bit and the wobble extension, if you line up a little ball bearing into the receiver hole and push it in, obviously you've got the wobble, it then won't lock. Um, if you switch it through 90, uh, it will then lock. Um, so Whereas the sockets will lock in any position on this, the bit driver doesn't. But that's a minor issue. Uh, and I think that's pretty much all I can tell you about this kit. As I say, I'll have to figure out a way or a different way of attaching it onto the Mega with the Veto bag. So we'll have to see what we can do about that. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful. And I'll see you again in the next one.